All right. I try not to take this YouTube stuff too seriously, but I do think about interesting videos to make for sure. And I came up with one that I think is really, really, really cool that I've never seen before. And that is just a whole bunch of different floaters together so you can see them. All right. So let's just look at them comparatively together. All right. First one I want to point out, and you probably can't see it, is the little green dots. That's a uh, Wolfia, and um, it's really great. It has the protein, um, was it rice or a bean? I don't know, but um, fish uh, will eat it. So really great floating plant right there. Like I said, you probably can't see it. Um, just trying to go by size a little bit. Um, a giant d duckweed. Oh, and then we got duckweed, regular duckweed. All right, so regular duckweed, which sucks. <clears throat> I'm just saying. Giant duckweed, which is a really great plant. Um, I'm going to make different videos like this. So we'll have one where uh, you can see the bottoms of the plants. But uh, anyway, let me just flip it. Bottom of the plant is a cool red. So when you're looking in a fish tank, that's your view. And it's probably one of the most underappreciated plants in the aquarium. If it wasn't called duckweed, everybody would have it. Um, the salvinias, salvinias, I got a, is this a minna? Uh, I can never say that one, whatever, I'm not even gonna bother. That's the small one, um, the mini. Um, then there's a next bigger one. Um, Arculata, I think it's called, and it's this one here. And you'll see its leaf is just much bigger. Um, I prefer this one over the small one, just because that one, that small one just really just gets lost in the fish tank. Um, this is just a more, um, just a larger plant. And then the other, the last one is this Calcutta. And it's probably my favorite of the uh, Salvinias. Um, you can see it's got a um, velvety leaf, all right, compared to uh, the others, which um, have a textured leaf. All right, next interesting plant, floating plant, what, frog bit? Everybody knows about that one. Real easy plant. Um, it's a little annoying. It can get some really long roots that wrap around things but um, it just looks neat um, dwarf water lettuce everybody knows what that one is um, the infamous or famous red root floater um, great plant <laughs> I have this in all my tanks um, I don't know just can't get any redder than that Oh, I just moved my camera. How oh, unprofessional. I'm kidding. Anyway, yeah. Uh, flowers a lot, too. When it's happy, it's always flowering. The next one is uh, the... I don't know if it's got really one set name, but Lucky Floating Bamboo. All right? It's the... I believe it's the world's only f true floating grass as a mouthful so um, that's just like the bamboo you put in your window it's bamboo I guess it's grass so um, easy all these plants are easy great thing about floating plants is you know they they're at the surface so they get to breathe all the co2 they want so as long as you give them a little fertilizer um, any floating plant is uh, is pretty simple. All right, so I will uh, make more videos similar to this. Um, yeah, I'm actually in the process of cataloging or making a video on every plant in my fish room and and in different stages. So there will be a lot coming. So anyway, just wanted you to check out all the floaters all together.